Good day, YouTube. My name is Cubit, and reports are coming in from the Wii U community about the true compatibility of external storage for the Wii U. The footage in the background is left over from my Colin McRae episode of Rear View. It shows off the lenient damage system, the nicer lighting effects, the mud accumulation, and my terrible adjustment to the handling model. But back to the subject at hand. In a week before the system launched, the previously secretive Nintendo released a flurry of information about their online infrastructure and the support for third-party storage solutions. Many people were dismayed at the apparent lack of support for USB flash drives and SSDs. It was stated in the press release that solid-state based memory would not be optimal as the devices have a limited number of read-write cycles and data corruption could become a problem. Of course, just reading from a flash drive doesn't cause any wear, and since the downloadable games are based on retail, disc-based media, very little writing would actually occur once the game is downloaded. This means you could essentially play a game forever once it's installed, without actually affecting the longevity of the device. In a write-only mode such as this, solid-state media actually outlives traditional spinning hard drives. Speed just isn't an issue either. While it would be wasteful to hook up an SSD drive with the USB 2 interface bottlenecking the speed to almost a tenth of its potential, the 60 megabyte per second throughput is still roughly three times faster than the rather quick optical drive. Last gen USB flash sticks are quite capable of butting up against the speed limit at a very reasonable price, so if you only need to add a little space to your system, they're a great option. If you later want to upgrade the size of the drive, Remember that everything you download is account bound, and can always be re-downloaded at a later date. This again makes being precious about data corruption purely academic. But looking at the space required for some of the larger launch games, you'll probably want to go with a traditional 2.5 inch USB 2 hard drive anyway. Compatibility is all but universal, but obviously these smaller, more modern drives can get away with only requiring a single USB port, as confirmed by the community. If you're going to try for an older drive, you'll most likely be able to use a Y splitter, those that work fine for most other people. Uh, resorting to a separate AC power supply will only be required in a freakishly small number of cases using either ancient drives or those which house two discs. Again, because of the USB 2 limitation, there is nothing to gain from using a cutting edge drive. You might as well get something on sale, anything really, and just go for the most space for your buck. I can, however, understand why the SD slot isn't being used for storage. Nintendo knows that Average Joe has no concept of card speeds, what with the ridiculous speed multiplier numbers companies print on them, and most of them are certainly too slow, even if a few are not. Since Nintendo doesn't have a way of policing what goes in the slot, it can be relegated to storing miscellaneous data. If you do happen to have a quick USB 2 card reader and a big old Class 10 card lying around, there's nothing stopping you from sticking that in the USB port and using it for storage. A modern SD card is plenty quick, and the Wii U has no idea what's plugged into it. So, there you have it. Loads of options when it comes to storage. Uh, the community has pretty much plugged everything possible into the Wii U to see what happens, and pretty much everything works. It's understandable that Nintendo covers its ass as much as possible to prevent disgruntlement, but don't let that stop you from enjoying your system. Hopefully this clears some things up for you, I'll catch you next time.